Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Ballymoon Castle episode 13. Uh, as I said before, I've noticed the episodes are not getting that many views now, the Ballymoon one, so I wonder if you're just not keen on the map anymore or whatever, but I'm still enjoying playing it, so the episodes will continue until I find something better to play. Well, not game-wise, but a better map to use or whatever. We'll just keep going. Uh, so, le leaving where we were, I haven't had time to actually come back on and do any work on here, so we're going to finish seeding this off ourselves. The worker only seeded half of it, so we'll just do the rest. Uh, and then I'm going to go and harvest field number 19. So, the Cobra Park farm videos seem to be doing really, really well. Uh, oh, she's sliding. Yeah, the park farm videos are doing really well, which is great. But I don't just want to run one map all the time. Uh, oh, also we got the first cam back on. Uh, possibly a dodgy cable. But to be brutally honest, I plugged it into a different port and it started working. So it might last five minutes. It might it might last five years. I don't know. But uh, again. I'm not going to deliberately go and buy a new camera for face cam because I am replacing the, this camera which is my main camera I, I want to replace that anyway so when I replace that that camera will go and be a face camera so it's funny because I use a big uh, LED strip light in this room and I've just had my hair cut and it looks like I'm absolutely bald <laughs> So we'll get this done, this shouldn't take long, and, uh, and then we'll uh, whip over, uh, well we'll seed it actually, we'll f uh, seed it, we'll fertilise it, I've got my little, uh, my little tractor over there ready for fertilising, I don't know if you guys can see. So, Whoa, she bit bad. Fitting well there, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll, we'll go around this out, outside here, we'll just lower it slowly. Yeah, we'll go around the outside and then back down because we'll not get turned around. <laughs> I, think, I think I need a heavier tractor. The state of it, man. It's struggling. Come on. Yeah, I noticed uh, Cobra Park Farm seems really popular still. Uh, also, what's the other one? Dramad. I've never actually done a Let's Play on Dramad. I always just mess about. But to be honest, the Let's Plays are actually more unpopular than what me just enjoying playing farming is. That seems more... But I think what people are missing is I actually enjoy doing the Let's Plays. Because you get to play the game properly which is what it's all about but once I get better internet I'm not going to panic too much at the moment I'll just carry on the way we're going uh, hopefully I, you know we don't lose too many subscribers but once I get moved and I can do a bit more sort of mod reviews and things like that as well so that might be a bit more interesting but, but we'll wait, wait and see but I'm enjoying this I mean we're just planting what are we planting in here? We're planting soybeans in this field, which I've never ever harvested before. And we're planting sunflowers in the other field, which I've never ever harvested before. So, because I... Whoa! Because I uh, come from, like, Farm Sim 13 and Farm Sim 15, they didn't have... Uh, what I just said. Oh, my brain today is tossing. Uh, sunflowers and what I can see it there but I just can't think of the word uh, <laughs> gone completely anyway whatever I'm seeding in this field uh, I'm trying to think of it soybeans that's the one there we go so yeah the, the farms of 13 and 15 didn't have soybeans in 
So when I came to 17, I kind of just stick with, stuck with what I know, and, and to be honest, I never had really a, a reason to plant them, because, I don't know, I just, I was always doing animals or something else where you just sell everything. You know, this sort of crop's more just to make money, which is what we need at the moment. But, uh, yeah, just a bit of a shame, really, that I've never tried this sort of stuff before, so... Again, every, every gameplay that I do, I try and do something a little bit differently. I've just uh, had a look at, uh, well, the video that I just did should be coming out with this video. Uh, it's a video on uh, Dusty Cove, which I've never played before. So I just did a little first look just to see what it was like. And uh, I really like it. Uh, it's more it's my cup of tea type of map uh, and it's quite big as well but the main thing i was interested on it was it's got quite a good forestry area on so i thought i could maybe go and do some forestry properly in uh, you know in that sort of department so but wait and see Most people who are on the channel now know me by now. I just upload whatever I'm playing, so uh, I wanted to get back on and I wanted to get uh, 19 harvested today. That was my 19 harvested and 18 ready for grown. That was my sort of plan on this map, so we'll get that done and then go from there. I had a good mess about on the uh, Cobra Park farm yesterday and we. Uh, had a mess about with doing a bit of manual bailing, so if you missed that, go and have a look. And I, I really enjoyed it actually. Something that I I, I want to do on uh, when we do get into bales on this map, you know, it'll be the older sort of MF equipment that we use for the loading the bales and that. So I'm quite looking forward to that. Right, I'm not going to use this anymore now. This cedar, I mean. Obviously, I will use it again. I just meant uh, I'm not going to use it anymore on today's episode. Because if I am seeding anything else, it's going to be sunflowers, which I can't do with this cedar, can I? I don't think... Uh, no, I kind of thought I couldn't, but uh, I thought I would. I would, thought I would have a nose first, just in case I could, and I can't. So that's absolutely fine. I was just going to say, like normal, are we going to hit the pole? And we did. Right. This is the only trailer we own now, like, so it's a bit big for harvesting that small field, but that's what we're going to use. So, we'll take this down to field 17, uh, 19 and then we're going to go and get that harvested and then I'll come back and fertilise this Whoa. we'll fertilise 18 I think it's weight a bit heavy on the front <laughs> and we're going to leave that rowing up machine where it is because we'll need to row up this field anyway which works well right then next job in hand First of all, turn her on. Second of all, start her up. Let's get, let's get some work done. Make sure she's there. Uh, straw is not available. What did I plant in this? 
Oh! Hang on. I thought I planted wheat in that. No. I must have planted soybeans in it. I did. Ha! <laughs> Beauty. Uh, what did we do in 17 canola? But isn't 17 harvested? Yeah, right. Excellent. Oh well. Harvesting soybeans, eh? Let's get it done. I was just thinking there when it wasn't spitting a straw out, that's why I left the run up machine there. I generally thought we plant a barley and wheat in all the three fields that we own to start off with, but I must have chucked soybeans in here just to make some money, which is greatly needed, so brilliant. I'm happy at that, like. So we're sitting around, we're sitting at 65, nearly 66,000. Uh, so. We're not doing bad, like, to be honest. We've got all the equipment we need. I mean, realistically, we could do we're doing, like, harvesting the three fields that we own, possibly, like, three times. Then we can buy some more equipment. And then possibly buy... Well, equipment's not really necessary at the moment, but I definitely want some sort of animals bought. Uh, whether it be... I don't think it's worth buying cows at the moment because we have nothing to feed them. You know, we, we've got, we could go and cut some grass for them. But we haven't got any like bales or anything even stored for them. So I would say sheep is probably going to be our best bet uh, to start off with. But well, you let us know in the comments. You know, next episode, what do you want? Sheep, cows, pigs? I could do pigs, but we don't have anything stored for them. That's problem is we need to feed whatever animal we're going to get and realistically on paper the only thing we can actually afford to feed at the moment is sheep really I mean cows we could do but it'll take another couple of episodes to get some uh, to get some stuff done for them because uh, we we'll, we'll need straw wheat we've got straw but we'll, de we'll definitely need uh, not wheat what am I saying wheat for we need straw, hay, grass, silage, which we've got some silage. We can get grass quite easily, we just go and cut the castle. That's not really a problem. So yeah, let us know in the comments guys. What do you what what animals would you like to see first on Valley Moon Castle? I think personally, I definitely think we should probably go sheep, but I'll let you guys choose. Let us know in the comments. I know I don't get many views on these episodes now, so I'll check the comments when I make the next video, and if people say what they want, that's what we'll do. But if there's no one comments, that's fine. We'll still do it anyway. But, you know, if you guys want to see another map or you want to see something different, please leave comments. I don't mind playing whatever. doesn't bother me. And map-wise, I only started playing Ballymoon Castle on here because I was asked to play it. So uh, I would—I was going to just stick with like Chellington and Dramad, but uh, I had been asked to play it by a couple of people. So, but we'll see. I mean, we're episode 13 now. I mean, it's still 13 hours worth of farming on here, so which which is n not a lot, but it's you know it's still something. I am enjoying driving this harvester like, to be honest. I'll tell you what I'm going to do though. I'm going to cut a straight line straight across here and cut the bottom of this off. Because it's just an awkward shape. So we're going to do a fairly straight line straight across here like so
and then on our next pass we'll just harvest the bottom bit and get rid of that and that's that done and then uh, it's not going to take long I mean like I've said in previous videos I'm happy to pay a worker to do the jobs some jobs like this if I can be away doing something else but when you've got a field this small it's it's you know I'm not what I'm 50% full now I'm probably going to get a trailer load out of this you know one half not even a trailer load to be honest I'm going to get one harvest out of this you know one full harvester I think maybe it's a little bit more actually but I don't think I'm going to fill a trailer so we're not actually going to have that much so it's not really worth paying somebody to do it it's, it's a small field you may as well just harvest it yourself and if you do pay workers all the time you forget how to do stuff to yourself I'm just checking to see if that if that face cam is still working because what it does is it stops working like halfway through a video for some reason and then at the end of the video I'll go oh the camera stopped because <laughs> I don't notice at least if I notice I can just knock it off I just thought I would test it I got it working so I thought we'll give it a quick go and see if it works. Right, finish this bottom off. Then we don't need to do this awkward shape anymore, which is handy. Oh, I mean, I don't know you guys, but when you do your outside pass in your harvest, as I always like to, if I can square the field off the best I can, I always find that a bit quicker not well not quicker but I find it easier to then harvest the rest of the field you cut the awkward bit off and then you've just got a nice square to you know ish we'll get the rest of that come and come back round I'll do one more pass round the outside because it's still quite a big square and then we'll start going up and down uh, or across ways should I say don't really like going up a hill because the harvester just really struggles, so we'll just go width ways. Uh, but I'll do one more pass around the outside and then I can... Uh, I'll finish off that bottom bit. So that's finished then. Oh, also guys, if anyone's watching this who has the... Uh, Satec farm and simulator side panel. I'm not interested in the wheel. I'm only interested in the side panel It's something I'm looking into for the future because I do a lot of farming now It might be worth incorporating when we move house uh, But I just looking basically just looking for anyone who has it, you know, is it worth it? You know, is it better than just having a joystick and like a button box like I've got? Uh, I, you know, I, I want to try and neaten the rig up when I move and make it a bit nicer. Not looking, but a bit less cluttered. This side's just full of stuff, which is great, but if I can change that to, like, one panel, that if I'm racing, I can just take the panel off. Uh, it was just something I thought I'd ask, and if anyone's using the Satec Farming Simulator panel, please let us know what you think of it. You know, just your opinion. Is it worth the money? You know, is it good quality, you know, and, uh, you know, is it reliable is my, my basic thing, because I, I use them so much. We're getting full now, like. I'm going to start going with ways now. There's not much left of the field. We're 80% full. And we've got that amount of the field left. I, to I told you we wouldn't get much in which is a shame but it's not a massive field 
it was uh, it was what was I going to say I was going to say something there it was fertilised I was going to say so we're, we're getting not a bad yield out of it like but uh, it's just not it's just not a big field that's the biggest problem I'm wondering if we're going to get the whole field done in one one go and then we won't need to uh, empty the harvester twice but I think I think we're going to need to empty it twice I've not bothered uh, with the uh, GPS mod today guys I've got it installed and I've got it activated but I'm in the cockpit view and I can fairly I can see what I'm getting at, you know, what I'm missing fairly well, so. No, I think it's a 4 metre head on this, or 4.6, but it's not a bad width, actually, for, for like, a brand new farm. I think we're about three percent per run at the minute, so and I'm ninety-three percent full, so I might I might get a run up here and a run back down, and then I'm going to be full. So I was ninety-three percent at the start of this run. So if my maths right, I should be ninety-six percent at the end of this run. Yep, yeah, ninety-six percent. So we'll get one more pass in. And then we'll need to go and empty the harvester. Ninety-eight. Ninety-nine percent full. I could just drive the uh, trailer over here, but oh, that's a good point. This harvester won't fit in that trailer. I made a mistake. Oh no. I'm gonna need to buy another trailer, aren't I? Can I just stick it through the side? It's not gonna fit, is it? Oh no. This is not great. Nightmare. I'll tell you what. <laughs> you like me thinking, don't you? It's not going to fit up there, though, is it? I wonder if it'll fit under now. <laughs> hey, you got to think outside the box. I I'll go and buy another trailer, but I really don't want to. <laughs> it works. Excellent. The harvester's moving. Stop moving, harvester. That works. It's doing it. I will get another trailer, don't worry. I'm not going to do that every time. It's just, I was trying to use what I had for now. <laughs> At least it worked.
noticed a little bit we missed up here. I don't know if we've missed that or if that's just meant to be there all the time. Achieving anything here, like perfect. <laughs> hey, whatever works. <laughs> Hey, right, we won't stick this back in the shed. Maybe so I'll just stick it in this shed here. So we've achieved something there. Uh, next job. So we've got a very small amount of. I don't know whether that's worth just going selling. No, we'll just stick that in storage. It's twenty-three percent trailer. Like I want more than that when I sell it. So we'll just go and stick this in storage. I tell you what, I said before that we should uh, that you should let me know what uh, what animals I should get, but I might just go and grab some sheep. Why not? Right, we've got sixty-five thousand. I might just buy a little a little small trailer, and uh, and we'll just go and get some animals bought. Why isn't my mouse work? Hang on, sorry. I'm having problems. I don't know why I'm having problems. I should just be able to... Ah, there we go. I got I got a mouse uh, off well one that my dad got and he didn't need so sort of I'm gonna uh, buy it off him uh, like a wireless one it's great but it goes to sleep and I forget so you just gotta click a button uh, right 
Where are we at here? So we'll go on you. That should be it, I think. And then we we'll turn it on. We'll put it in first gear. Should be achieving something. There we go, not doing bad. Just make sure we get the end of the uh, the end of the field before we turn it off. It's always it's always the end I miss. I was just gonna say it's always the end that I miss. But why don't I just why don't I just do this then? I'll just knock the uh, I'll just knock that off while I do a quick run around the outside. Yeah, I was just about to, well, I wasn't just about to say, I did say, I always miss the edges at the top. We'll just do a quick run around the outside then and go up and down. Sometimes I answer my own bloody questions. Might need to get some more fertilizer for this field, but I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Yeah, that mouse thing where it goes to sleep, it's great in games where the view is your mouse, and if you if you touch it, it then it moves and it moves your view. So luckily, it doesn't do that. However, it does go to sleep, which is a great idea. But I forget. So. I'll get it. Once I'm, once I'm live, you guys can say, Mark, your mouse is asleep. Excellent. I love it. Look at the suspension work. Well, not the suspension, but, you know, the front axle. Looks fantastic. Awesome. Not going to take long to do this field, is it? I know a lot of you guys on the channel are getting really excited for more live streams, so I'm looking forward to that. And you, you just need to bear with me, I am trying my best. If you do follow the channel, you you will know by now that I always try my best. <laughs> well, we've got enough fertilizer to get this job done. Awesome, 18 seeded and fertilized. Jobs are good. Right, we can knock that off. I'll go and stick this tractor back. I don't know if this will fit in the shed with the thing in the back. 
because uh, to be brutally honest there's no point in really taking this off because this is me fertilising tractor the tractor itself cost very little and we needed to buy the fertiliser anyway so perfect Hang on. we're in the wall it, we're in the wall just a little bit there right she's in neutral is she in the shed yes she is night night stay safe tractor stay safe does it fit oh yeah lovely right then so that's a good job done Uh, not going to need this now, so I'm going to stick that away. What I will need though is I need to go and cut some grass for the sheep. So we're we'll going there, uh, we're we'll going to purchase said sheep, and then uh, I need to need to grab a what do I need to grab? I need to grab a, a trailer because I sold mine because we needed the money, but. I mean, to be fair, it wasn't worth that much, but... Well, that was a bit tighter than I thought it was going to be. Uh, not not the actual turn, it was not as tight as I thought. So we've got a water trailer, which I kept on purpose. And I think my intentions were to buy a big seed, uh, feet, uh, animal wagon, but I thought, well, no. I normally just buy... I normally just buy the animals straight through the, uh, what's it called? You know, through the, you just go to wherever your animals are and buy them through there, but the whole point in this series was to do things as, you know, obviously not as real, but, you know, as, as simulated as I can. So, we'll use the, uh, we'll use the, the red case and we'll take it up to the, uh, to get the animals. Right, red case time. We're not needing that on there. Right, so, animal trailer, we'll have it delivered to the farm. So we've got that one which we can buy 15,000, uh, no idea how many animals that transports. We've got that one at 24,000 which is the original one, uh, is that one at 24,000? I thought there was a blue one. I like the Joskin one, like. Oh, that's a water trailer, that. Anyhow, back to the task in hand. That's what we're going to buy, because it's cheap for now. And I quite like it, actually. And, and again, like like I always like it's something that I don't I've never I've never owned uh, which you'll learn about me each different game I play I do like using equipment that I've not used before right so the sheep are up there uh huh right off to the sheeps we go so I take it we need to go and buy the sheep first, which I'm assuming it is at the animal market, which I've got no idea where that is. We'll put the big map on. Animal market. Back of the... So... Basically, the animal market is go to the uh, bio... We'll go out to the back of the biogas plant. Looks nice, that, doesn't it? I like that better than the game than the game version. It's 
to be honest. Oh, a bit hectic there, Matt. Awesome. Surprise, surprise, Mark left it in reverse. Every time. Right, so we're on our way to the animal market to get some sheep. I'm not too worried about the cost of the sheep because, again, we've got 50,000. We've still got some silage we can sell. We've got, I think we've got something we can sell. Oh, we've got that small amount of, uh, oh, I've forgotten what it's called again, soybeans. And then also I'm going to, so we're going right here. I've got field 18 now planted and ready to be, it'll be ready to harvest in the next episode. And field 18 is quite a big field. So we'll get, and that's all soybeans, so we'll get a, we should get a good few thousand out of that, like. Right. Ah, there's said animal place. Oh, no. I got it wrong. This is where we buy... Is this where we buy stuff? I'm not actually sure, because again, especially on this map, but generally I've never bought an animal with a trailer. Uh, is this? No, that doesn't seem right. Where, where, where does one buy? So we're obviously going there to buy cattle. So do I just stick this on that square? Is that? Whoa! Forage sale. I don't want forage sale. I want animal sale. I want to buy. I want to buy a sheep. it got I think I think I've parked it on something hang on so it's got has it got hydraulic suspension? Oh, that is cool. <laughs> Quite addicted. Right, anyway, moving on. Right, how does one buy animals? Right, so clearly we're going here. What's this here? Market law to use mouse watch outside. Ah, right, okay, okay. Like it. So, all that reversing was for nothing. So, well, whatever. You learn something new every day. What? <laughs> We're in reverse again. Not that I ever leave the tractor in reverse and forget, because that, that does not ever happen. What the hell did I hit there? I didn't think I hit anything. It's in reverse. Are we stuck on something? That's possible. Oh, I thought I'd got lined up perfectly there as well. We're not. It's not. It's not. If I'm going to be honest with you, it's not going great. I hit the same wall.
Oh no, no, we're, we're alright. We'll either load the trailer though. Oh, because we can. Uh, we better put the old beacon on. That is cool. I can't get over that. I'm well happy with that. Right. Anyhow. Can we open the doors to the trailer with that or what? So a £4,000 a sheep. I can't even afford to buy. Ten. Twelve grand. I can't buy three sheep. Right, I spend twenty grand, we'll buy five. It's not gonna get us far like, is it? God they're expensive. So are they in the trailer or what? Sheeps! How many's in there? Actually our five sheep are in there, we'll bit we'll heighten her up. Right. Off to the sheep farm, which is Oh, it's in reverse again, Mark, man. I'm, I wish I was making it up, but I'm just not. Right. So, we're right down here, so we want to come out of here and turn right. Obviously, main part of this travelling is not to kill the sheep, I would say. I don't think you can, to be fair. We, that's awful. I was just going to say it would be funny if you could, but it wouldn't be funny if you could. So, all in all, I think pretty much straight over at the roundabout, just drive straight to the top of the map, drop the sheep off, yeah. and then we need to feed them, but I'll probably not bother feeding them in this episode, because we need to go and cut grass, which is, you know, fine, uh, so we'll need to water them and uh, hook them up with some grass in the next episode. I'm quite pleased. I got 18 finished seeding. I got. Doing a slight left here and nothing coming. Yeah, I got 18 finished seeding. And then we also uh, fertilised 18. Uh, and we went and bought some sheep. Fairly happy with that. Sheep are far away on this map, aren't they? Valley Moon Castle, eh? I do like this map. I, I really... You know, when you start thinking... When you start, like... Like a, a save game, like... From scratch. But then you start thinking, like... Oh, should I go and play another another one? But, but then... I just really like this map. But then... I was driving around Dusty Cove today... And I... I had the same feeling that I get here, I really enjoyed it, but <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I think we're just spoiled, I think, to be honest, I think there's just, there's so many uh, good maps, I think that's the problem, because I, I love Dramad, and I've stopped doing Dramad on the channel, and uh, I, th I think, I, I don't know, I really want to go back to it. Offloading sheep, which is in here, apparently. Where do we offload the sheep? What's it's raining bad, isn't it? Say wall pallets, right? Okay, I don't need wall pallets. Offloading shapes, well, that's what I'm doing. So, is this where I offload the shapes? Is 
that way I offload the sheeps in there? I tell you what, if that's where I need to reverse into, that's... That's going to be tight, that. It's got a bit miserable weather now, hasn't it? I don't think this is... I don't think I'm meant to offload near. Where do I offload my sheep? See, I'm only getting confused because it says offload sheep on that sign. So I'm assuming this is where you offload the sheep, but yeah, off offloading sheep, that's what it says. Well, it's clearly not the case, is it? Open closed door. Open closed door. I'm looking for there'll be a place where you can buy sheep without having to get a trailer. So that's the bit I'm looking for. This is a nightmare. Ah, that's it. Sheep's offloading. So you want to unload said sheep? Unload five sheep. Oh no, I want to unload. Confirm. Done. There we go. We have sheep. Alright, sheep. How's it going? So I'm assuming. I'm not sure where we actually uh, do all the. Uh, Oh. Interesting. I want to go and see what they're doing. I'm assuming they're meant to look like sheep shearers, but I've got to be honest, it doesn't look great for them. With the sheep in between the legs. Yeah, that's not the game's best, the map's best graphical feature, is it? <laughs> right, anyway. We've got some sheep. I'm happy with that. I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, probably not as long as normal. I think it's only about 40 minutes or so. But hey. Not too bad. I've got. The reason this one's a little bit shorter. Is I've got another episode to come out. The same day as this. Uh, so uh, when you're watching this. I don't know what will actually be uploaded by now. But on the same day. I've got a U, uh, an American truck. Uh, a career mode episode one to come and it's coming out the same day as this and then i've got this and then i've also got dusty cove look around so th there is still over like two hours worth of content going up on this day so uh again i, I had i had uh, in my mind what i wanted to get done i wanted to get 18 finished seeding and i wanted to get it fertilized which is done i wanted to get 19 harvest and either stored or sold, which is done. Uh, and then I wanted to get some sheep, which I wasn't actually going to do today, which we did, and that's done. So at the end of the day, we've achieved what we came, what we set out to do. So I'm a happy man. Anyway, go check out the Facebook group, guys. Uh, do you not try and be active on there? Uh, the other guys on there will help you out. About uh, 96 members, I think. So it'll be great to get to 100. <laughs> hint, hint. Uh, <laughs> Only you guys will make that happen. Uh, on the channel front, uh, bear with me. I'm trying my best. We'll have live streams coming. I'm moving in the next month to three months. I'm going to probably say this on the end of most of my videos and probably the start, just to keep you guys in the loop. We are moving in the next month to three months. I'm, I'm, and then I'll be doing at least two to four episodes a day on different games. 
and we'll be doing a live stream most days as well and that'll be in the next month to, to three months uh, so I'm doing my best guys got some more content to come we've got more equipment on its way at some point uh, so there's loads more content to come I mean really <laughs> I'm not making it up we've got a lot of content up at the moment we do two to three videos a day as it is uh, you know about 70 80 videos a month which is a lot so and we've got more to come uh, so anyway hit that subscribe button guys if you're new go and check out the other content if you like the video please give us a thumbs up I know the Ballymoon series is not like that much at the moment I don't get many views on it anymore which is a shame but I'm still enjoying it and uh, if you didn't like it please leave a comment let me know why you weren't keen on it you know feel free uh, just just so I can improve my content and uh, other than that we'll see you guys in the next one take care guys